Hey guys, James here again from Replica Reviews. Now, if you've watched our FNX uh, review that we did a couple of weeks ago, you would have seen that I was waiting on the, the little Ace One Arms red dot site. Um, it's basically modelled off uh, an, an RMR, um, and I said, you know, it's been on order, but it hadn't turned up. And I was really hoping it would turn up for the review, but I'd only ordered it probably five or so days before. So, it's coming all the way from Hong Kong. It wasn't going to be there for the review. But anyway, the day after it went live, it all turned up. Um, and as you can see, obviously, we've got the, the RMR itself, the adapter plate. Obviously, if you're going to be running on the FNX, you do need the adapter plate. Um, and even throwing some stickers as well. Um, and one thing I will say, I ordered it um, on the weekend, and it was here by the, the following Monday. Um, so the delivery from Hong Kong was crazy, crazy quick. I think it was about five days in all um, I was waiting. So customer service wise ace one have been absolutely spot on so what we're going to do is we'll just get everything out and we'll have a look at the site and the, the adapter plate and whatnot and uh, then we'll fit it on the fnx and show you how to install it right guys so this is basically as it comes out of the packet they arrive uh, or at least mine did in a jiffy bag so you can see the outer plastic has been battered around um, a little bit but it just comes in this neat little box um, and if we open it up one way or the other just rip it out like so you can see it's all safe and uh, sort of held in place with this foam insert. So we'll get it out of the way very, very quickly. Again, more packaging. You can see the site itself. Now, it's very, very low profile. It does uh, obviously require a battery just to fit in the bottom. Uh, I haven't unfortunately managed to pick one of those just uh, just yet. But as you can see, it comes fully traded up. Um, and yeah, it feels and it looks really nicely made. Obviously, it's metal construction. Um, you see. You know, literally every trademark that would be on the the actual kind of the um, Trigicon version is on this replica, and the the lens as well is this really nice uh, sort of reflective colour. Buttons on the side, obviously for increase, turn on, off, and, and all the rest of it, exactly as it would. And obviously you can adjust it here as well. Um, you know, it, it says one click, one MOA. How much that translates into airsoft, um, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, it seems really nice and, and solid and built. Now obviously if you are going to be fitting this replica Trigicon sight onto your gun, you are going to need the adapter. Now the adapter comes with four screws. You've got two long screws, which are the ones that go down between these two holes here, and the two short ones uh, that actually attach the plate to the, uh, to the FNX itself. Now one thing I would say, I have found, and um, we had this on and fitted very, very briefly um, before the video, to use the screws on the top of the um, slide, the existing ones that come with the side gun, they just seem to fit a little bit better. They don't interfere with any of the action um, of the slide at all, um, and it just seems to work a lot better. So what I'm going to be doing, obviously, when we do fit it, is just using the screws that actually come off the gun itself. Now, the only other thing that you're going to need, other than the adapter and the sight, is a two millimeter Allen key. All right, so that's a two millimeter Allen key. Obviously, if you use a better quality tool, it's not going to round your bolts off um, as quickly or whatever. Um, but yeah, as I say, a two mil Allen key. So we'll just quickly get the FNX out, and uh, we'll uh, we'll install the the sight and see how it uh, see how it looks. All right then. So this is going to be step one. So first off, what we're going to do is bring the slide to the rear. Obviously, I've completely emptied the gun out and you see these two holes just here now what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two grub screws as you may have seen I've already given them a quick gentle help, help in hand off screen and that plate just comes off so this plate now is going to be completely defunct but we're obviously just going to use those screws in a second as you can see the indent is cut in here and this is where your plate will go in now with these two grubs at the back you're just going to place the plate in such a way and it just sits in place so what we're now going to do Hopefully, obviously being on camera is a little bit harder than usual. Is we're just going to place the two screws just in the holes just to locate them. And then we'll just tighten them up again with our 2mm Allen key. And then that should be the plate in place. Now I'm only doing these up sort of not overly tight. Obviously I don't want to strip any threads out. But obviously the recoil is going to move around. Um, so as you can see now that's in place fully secure like so. So we'll just bring the slide forward. Now this bit here, now the RMR itself is really, really, really simple to fit. Now obviously if you are going to be using it uh, straight away, you're going to put the battery in the bottom. Now we don't have a battery at the moment, so all we're going to do is just line up these two holes that you can see here with the locators, and it's a little bit of a, a push down just to make sure it sits, and as you can see there, fits onto the pistol perfectly. Now this is where the longer screws are going to come in. 
So again, we'll just put those down the holes just to locate them. And again, don't really want to over tighten them. There we go. Obviously just taking care as well not to, to strip the threads out. And then that literally is as simple as it is. You can see obviously the slide still moves back, still functions nicely and returns the form home with some decent force. So what we will do is we'll just quickly cut. Obviously the magazine's empty but I've put a bit of gas in there and we'll just shoot it a couple of times just to make sure it's functioning um, nicely obviously as it's been shot. All right, so the true test, obviously the magazine's empty, so we will just be holding the slide catch here just to make sure it cycles. But as you can see, see if I take the safety catch off. Works brilliantly. So we'll take the magazine back out and quickly conclude off the video. So that's the video pretty much all done. As you can see, the Ace One Arms uh, RMR there really does fit um, the look of the pistol beautifully. It does sit really nice and low profile. And what I do quite like is even when you haven't got a battery in, it's at such a height that you can still go co-witness. So if your battery runs out in a skirmish or it becomes damaged or you know, you're like me and you haven't quite got a battery just yet, you can still use the pistol, which I really like. Now, as I said earlier on in the video, it's really nicely made as well. Um, I wasn't expecting the best sort of quality in the world. Obviously, when it comes to things that are replicas of other things, they tend not to be as good. Um, and yeah, it's not gonna be as good as a Trigicon. There's a reason they cost so much. But it will hold its own and it will, you know, it says it's 6mm bulletproof, but uh, I'm not really willing to test that. I think this one here delivered was about £71 and that came with the adapter plate as well. As I say earlier on, everything is finished really nicely. There's no rough edges, there's no kind of bits missing here and there. Um, and the, the customer service from Ace One Arms has been absolutely brilliant. As soon as the order was put in, I was told sort of 10 days delivery and within five days I had it at my doorstop. Uh, which I really, really liked and I really, really appreciate. Now they do a replica of the Osprey Silencer um, and as soon as uh, as funds allow, I think I will be getting that one. Obviously, if you've seen any of the other videos going around, um, some big channels that have, uh, have had the FNX 45, uh, Hickok 45, for example, he had one and had the Osprey suppressor on the front. So I am going to try and pick one of those up as soon as funds allow. Because, um, yeah, as I say, Ace One Arms have proven themselves to be quite a, uh, quite a good company to work with and to purchase from, which is uh, is pleasant in the, in the modern climate of things. Um, so that's pretty much it guys, as, as I say, we will do a follow-up video showing this one off a little bit more. It will be featuring in various different reviews and, and videos and things, because obviously we, we do enjoy getting out and using the guns as well as reviewing them. So if you want to check that out, feel free to click the subscribe box below for all of the, uh, the, the latest videos coming up. And also if you've got any comments, any questions, feel free to put them in the box below. We are on Facebook and we are on Twitter. If you type in replica reviews on either of those, we will pop straight back up. And again, I put loads of pictures and videos on there for the world to see. So until our next guy, video, guys, all that's really left for me to say is thanks for watching and we will see you again in another replica reviews video.